All right, let's take a look at what's going on in your weather. Look at Jensen Beach right now, and the skies have cleared a bit out to the west. We did see a pretty big thunderstorm out there earlier tonight. That has kind of fizzled out. We got to 93 degrees in Vero Beach today. The average high for this time of year is 91, the record 97, so came within four degrees of that. 92 was the high today in West Palm, fortunately. Not real close to the record high of 99. Uh, here's a quick look at current temperatures. Stewart 87, Arundel 87, 89 in Hope Sound and Jupiter Island right now. Down south, 89, Boca 87 along Hypoluxo there, 90 in Wellington. Let's talk a little bit about rainfall. We have this big system working its way up through the Carolinas right now. This area of low pressure is going to move off the coast here a little bit, and this front is going to swing down into Florida over the weekend, helping to nudge some high pressure out of the way and allow for more moisture to gather into South Florida. So our rain chances will start to go up starting tomorrow. Right now, we don't have a lot of rainfall around. We have a couple of showers here and there. Fort Drum getting some rainfall. Uh, we've also got a little thunderstorm just to the north of Okeechobee County. Got a little rain south of Blue Cypress Lake, a couple showers around Port St. Lucie and near Okeechobee and some rainfall in western Palm Beach County heading over to the west. Our chance for rain today was 20%. It goes up to 40% tomorrow, so it doubles tomorrow and Sunday. 40% is actually about average for our rainfall for this time of year in South Florida. Then we go up to 50% as we get into Monday and Tuesday. So I mentioned that front up to our north. Here's how it goes down over the weekend through tonight. Rain chances shift over to the West Coast. Pretty quiet. Could see some coastal showers overnight. Here's tomorrow afternoon around 330 PM. You'll see scattered showers and a few thunderstorms developing. Here comes that front dropping on down, helping to gather moisture in South Florida. Got a 40% chance for rain on Sunday, but then the front kind of settles over our area and what's left of it continues to stir things up Monday and Tuesday. We do have some Saharan dust on the way, but you'll notice the dark brown where the dust is really thick. That stays pretty much down to our south. So we get some light dust moving in, which could help to control our rain chances a bit. I do think our rain chances would be higher without that light dust for the beginning of next week. Even so, we're going to stay at about a 50% chance for rain for Monday and Tuesday and then lower that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Out in the Atlantic, we do have this little disturbance way far away from us. It's expected to continue to move to the west northwest. Most computer models have it curving down into the southern Gulf of Mexico by next weekend. But the area of interest extends all the way here through the Lesser Antilles, up toward the Bahamas, down into the Caribbean. It only has a 20% chance for development. Again, very far away. Not worried about it right now. We're just going to keep our eyes on it for you and keep you up to date. Temperatures will be the other side of the story. We talked about rainfall. Temperatures are going up and we're going to end up in the mid 90s for a lot of these days, including Sunday and Monday, including Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. And with the extra moisture around and the humidity, we could see some heat advisories issued over the next seven days. Again, we'll keep you up to date on that. Chances for rain 40% tomorrow and Sunday, not a washout, and then a 50% chance for rain on Monday and Tuesday. That's a look at your forecast.